Well, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Born Fish and Die Fishing. Here we are on a cold January morning. It's rather cold and rather foggy. The fog seems to be clearing a bit there, so. But as you can see, the sun's just about to come up, which is nice. But yeah, I'm down at Porter's Head Pier fishing the Bristol Channel today. Only anyone down here, which is quite nice. So, yeah, just about to get set up. Make the battery once I have. Well, as you can see, the sun's come up. Yeah, it didn't take too long. I've only been here about 20 minutes, half hour at the most. But yeah, we've got all three of my rods set up. We're getting bites on one of them, so yeah, it's looking promising. But yeah, I've got a two hook boom rig with smallish hooks. And yeah, this is dropped close down to the wall, just hoping for anything. Last time I was here, I had a bit of luck doing that and caught my first cod, so yeah, definitely hopeful. Got my other two over here. They're both on pulley panels, both eight ounce legs, the heaviest lead I've got. And yeah, I've cast them both right out there and unfortunately I'm struggling to hold bottom. I don't know what else to do, so yeah, I've had to bring them right in just to try see if I can hold bottom, which I am at the moment, but yeah, it's not ideal. Later on I'll probably be able to cast a bit further out once the tide dies down a bit. But yeah, so we get the kettle on, get a coffee on the go. A bit chilly, so get that to warm me up. But yeah, as you can see, it's a nice foggy winter morning. And yeah, that's all I've got here. What time did I get here? I got about half seven. And yeah, high tide was half five, so yeah, the tide is on the way back out. It's low tide about half twelve, and then yeah, it's a high tide about half five again tonight. So yeah, I'll be here most of the day, so I can pull out. But right, I'm gonna get the coffee on, I'll get back to you. Well, I've been here about an hour now, not too much to report on. The only rod to actually have any action so far is the um, boom rig with a ragworm, drop close to him. It keeps getting bites. And then yeah, I bring it in like three times now and the bottom hook's stripped every time. So I'm not sure whether there's little fish pecking at it or is it crabs, I'm not too sure. But, but yeah, it's lucky I didn't cast these two out to, to be honest with you, too far. Because I've had four boats now come out. They've got a lock down here. There's a marina down there. I'm not sure if you can make it out. And yeah, they come out of the lock, come down here. And yeah, four of them, well there was five, but four of them have come right across me, right that. If I was cast out far, they'd have had, they'd had both my rods, so it's lucky I didn't cast that too far. As you can see, that beautiful sunset down there. Literally, the sun's just coming up. Lovely morning. It's a bit chilly out here, but not too bad. But yeah, it'll be nice to show you a few fish. Nice to be out, to be honest with you. It's been a while since I've been out. So, I'm going to just make out the Prince Andrew's Bridge down there over to Wales. I doubt you'll be able to make it out to be fair, it's a bit far. But yeah, hopefully get back to you on. Yeah, something I did forget to mention on that last clip is you have to check your tide heights because anything above 12.7, this pier gets submerged. I did mention it on my last video, but I just thought I'd let people know again. So yeah, definitely check your tide times because anything over 12.7, this does get submerged. So. Yeah, you don't want to be here when that's happening. So, yeah, I've checked the tide, tide heights, and yeah, it's only 10.4 today, so it's not too bad, to be honest with you. But yeah, we've got the sun coming up over there, which is absolutely beautiful. Lovely sunrise this morning. But yeah, it's still a bit chilly out here, but it's not too bad, to be fair. But yeah, the tide's still putting on a lot. I'm not sure if you can make it out on camera. It doesn't ever really look like it, but yeah. Absolutely beautiful morning for it. Right, hope we get back to the fish. Well, 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 that is what we came for. Only a little codling, but yeah, I would like one a bit bigger, but I'm more than happy with that. Nice little codling there. And yeah, that comes to the boom rig, dropped with ragworm. And yeah, that was dropped down close to the side. Yeah, I was getting nice bites on that. Gave a good bite indication, to be fair. So yeah, more than happy that. Gonna get him trapped back. Oh, some of you may laugh, but I'm buzzing with that. First Rockland, never had a Rockland before. Not even sure what Rockland actually is, if I'm honest with you. Anyone can tell me, let me know. 
But yeah, I'm more than happy with that. Lovely little fish. So yeah, it's a new species for me, can't complain. I come to the um Tuak boom rig, cast close in. Yeah, lovely little fish. Right, I'm gonna get him trapped back. <laughs> And this is what we're fishing into. You can just see the current just absolutely whipping up all the sand. And yeah, I'm just dropping it down, right down close to there. So yeah, you can definitely see how strong that current is. You can see all that sand being whipped up. And that's like that all around up here. So yeah, definitely strong current. That's why I'm struggling to hold bottom. Alright, get back to your zone. Wow, I generally didn't even think you could get a cod that small, to be honest with you. He is absolutely tiny. And this is the bait you took. And he's caught on the top, top hook on a poly panel on a big blue bit. Yeah, he's absolutely tiny. Generally didn't even think you'd get him that small. Alright, we're gonna get in track back. We can't complain, free fish now. Not a bad session for the first session of the year. Alright, get back to you soon. Wow, well, another small little cod in there. A little bit bigger than the last one, but yeah, he's still tiny, isn't he? We yeah, just come to the boom rig as you can see, baited a ragworm. Yeah, nice little fish. Can't complain. So yeah. Nice little fish there, third little cod. Obviously they're tiny, little codling, but I can't complain. Right, I hope you show your bigger one. Well, just a little update. Plenty of boats been coming out of here, coming straight across, so I've had a little move. Plus over here, I was just kind of on bottom, to be honest with you. I literally, it don't even look bad, but yeah, the undercurrent's so strong, it's unreal. So yeah, I've still got the one drop shot in, or well, drop shot in, I was pretty much, with the boom rig down close to the wall. And then yeah, I've moved two over to here. One's on a bluey, that's on a pulley panel, and the other one's on a pulley panel, and that's a bluey and um, black lug wrap. And yeah, I was quite surprised to have that little cod on the big bluey bait, but yeah. So, so I'll give you a little update. What's the time now? Time now, it's 10 o'clock, so we've got about two and a half hours today tide. So yeah, it comes out plenty. Probably comes out to at least about here it dries out to. So yeah, got a while yet. But yeah, once it goes to low tide, it makes it a bit easier to fish. So yeah, I'll move back, my other two rods back over there. But, yeah, I can't complain, free fish. We're not show you a bigger one, but yeah, I'm not moaning at them what I've caught so far. All right, hopefully show you another. Well, that was going on a little bit quiet. As you can see, I've moved my rods over. Yeah, the tide's slacking right off now, so I've been able to cast that that way, which is nice. So, yeah, I've got both of these, both on pulley panels. One of them's on a nice chunk of blue, and then I've got this one here, which is on a bluey and black lug wrap. And as I started doing the video, I was getting a couple of bites then, so an inquiry on it. And then, yeah, the boom rig, which I was dropping in close to the ragworm. Yeah, the past three, four casts, I've brought in crab now, so, and yeah, one of them there was three just on the bottom hook, so. Yeah, I've cast that one further out there. I'll just put a grip of lead on it this time. And yeah, cast it out there, still with a boom rig on it, ragworm. See if I pick anything up out there. But yeah, I might have to check this one out. I was getting a couple of nice inquiries a minute ago, so yeah, hopefully I'll get back to you on. See you soon. Well, just gonna rebait. Just cut the head off a of bluey, so I just wanna show you. Get about a little nice three inch bait there. Off it straight for the middle, but that's the side for later. Yeah, you got a nice chunk of bluey there, all the blood inside, all the guts. And this is what I've been doing today and what I've been liking to do. So get your knife, run it down the backbone of the fish. Slice it, clean it off. And we've got your blood, guts, all there. Flip it, put the two skins back to back, and then I'm wrapping that up into one. Well, sorry about that. Yeah, my um, memory card got full up, so 
I'll have to start this again. Well, yeah, like I said, I'm cutting both and I've got them skin to skin. It would be a bit easier with my bait and so, but I've actually left it at home, so not ideal while you're wrapping it. And yeah, just wrap it. Get it all nice and tight. Don't really matter how much elastic you use, to be honest. Yeah, as you can see so far, obviously your hands are horrible, but bloody all there, bloody there, absolutely beautiful blade. And then, get your hook, stab your hook straight through, bring it back out, make sure you've got your hook point proud. Now get a bit more elastic around the shank of the hook to hold it down, getting blood absolutely everywhere. And this is a little trick I want to show you. So, I see a lot of people tie knots to their elastic, do all this other stuff with it. My little trick, once you've re-wrapped it, come back down towards the um, bend of the hook, come round, wrap it round the hook, bend of the hook a couple of times, and then just pull it. And then it just that snaps off nicely. Get your panel hook. That is an absolutely bloody bait. And that is just a nice mess just from cutting it in half. And that's what I've been liking to do. Get all the guts out, basically turn the fish inside out. Right, and get that cast out there, and hope you get one. And then wash my hands in the process. Well, I was right when I said I was getting bites. And yeah, that's what I got from it. That's the size of the bait it took, and that's the size of the fish. Yeah, these are greedy, these little codlin. Yeah, still can't complain. That's four little codlin, a little rocklin. I'm happy with that. First session of the year, cannot complain. All right, give us a little feather chat back. Hopefully, show you a bigger. I was thinking earlier I haven't had a visit from Mr. Conger yet, and I think that was it. So, <laughs> I don't know what else would have done that. I'd say a conger, or at least another row anyway. So yeah, untangle that, get the cast back out there, hopefully show you another. Well, that's another little codling there. That's literally probably about two minutes after the other one. He's only just hooked to be fair, looking at that. Yeah, literally that hook nearly fell out. But yeah, as you can see, that's on the boom rig, rag one. Yeah, it's cast right out there. Not a bad little cod. I did think it was a bass when it was first coming in. This is quite a pale one, so it did look silver, and I did think it was a little bass, but yeah, I'm more than happy with that. All right, I'll get back to you with another one. Well, right, just a bit of an update. I never quiet, to be honest with you. Yeah, we've got about three hours to high tide, see so yeah, how I'm going to fish up this high tide, see how it goes. But yeah, like I said, not too much to report on. Still putting fresh baits out there. So yeah, definitely think I'll get another. So yeah, I thought I'd let you know what's happening. Right, get back to your zoom. <laughs> 